<laughs> Caitlin Tapisalis is playing the piano. She disobeyed me. Well, Holmes, I was inspired to... Oh, look here. The postman has made a mistake. He's delivered a letter addressed to Miss Alice. Oh, he mistook 221B for 221C. Give it to me, oh, Watson. But... I can't help myself. I must open this letter. Miss Alice planned to live here because of me. I need to have a talk with her as soon as possible. That's it. Don't stop playing, Kate. I'm going to take some air on the balcony for a few minutes. I need to speak with Miss Alice first. How about telling me why you came here in the first place? Mr. Holmes, why do you ask? I hardly think that I'm accountable to you. Since you extended an invitation to my daughter against my wishes, I believe that you are. So said the father, cloaked in all his severity. My word, you almost frightened me. You won't say that. Very well. Ask Caitlin to come home now. Oh, poor child, let her play. Such insouciance. So useful for covering up disturbing secrets. And since you intend to hide the truth from her... What? We all have our secrets. You... But don't worry, Mr. Holmes. Caitlin is a sensitive child, and I like her enormously. Alice! Come back in! I can do it! See? <laughs> You're wonderful! I like to think that the feeling is mutual. We wouldn't want her to know of your secrets, or for her to be unhappy. I have to go inside now. Ah, Holmes, I entirely forgot. There's a man corresponding to the photograph who is a regular visitor at the Hospital for Tropical Diseases. His name is James Byron. Are you sure? That's fantastic. And we can visit him. But you should disguise yourself first. I'll introduce you as my colleague. Holmes, we have to go to the hospital. Oh, Dr. Watson, may I help you? Hello, Baird. My colleague and I are here to see Mr. Byron. Ah, Byron. Yes, he's in a bad way. You'll find him in a cubicle on the window side. 
Patients visit this department for treatment and then return home. Department of Tropical Diseases. Mr. Byron? More doctors? Please, I've just received my treatment. I need to rest a while before I leave. We would like to ask you some questions about an expedition that took place 14 years ago. An expedition? What? What expedition? You're wrong. I've never left London. Is it not you in this photograph from Guatemala? Guatemala? Tecuna man! Ah! Ah! Dr. Baird! Come here quickly, I don't feel well! Ah! What on earth is going on? Please, calm down. I'm sorry, my dear colleagues, but Dr. Brunt is waiting to give Mr. Byron a private consultation. You can wait here. What should we do next, Holmes? Weren't you paying attention? We have to wait, but we'll take advantage of the situation. This address is almost invisible. He recently purchased Chinese tobacco. Mr. Byron is due for a consultation with Dr. Brunt. A man passed by a circus. Oh, you're still here? Obviously. We're waiting for Mr. Byron. Is he not with you? No, the gentleman left directly after his consultation. Oh, he forgot to collect his belongings. Holmes, it seems that Robert has escaped. Obviously. And he knows that we are aware of his true identity. Quickly, I know how to find him.
Did you find Albeit's house on the map? Thanks to the information I obtained at the hospital, I can now deduce where Albeit is hiding. We know that Albeit paid a visit to an opium den, a crowded market, and a circus. He also purchased some Chinese tobacco. Let's find a place in London where all four elements are close together. Now we need to find a street name ending in O-O-K. Here it is. 21D Brook Street. Watson, I believe we found Albeit's flat. What should we do next, Holmes? Help! Do you hear that? Quick, we have to open this door. The door's too strong and the lock is too solid to break with bare hands. table could serve as cover. If I cut those ropes, the curtains will fall and block the attackers. Watson, I'll try to reach those curtains to close them. Cover me. Cover me!
Watson, come here. He's behind the screen. Our assailant escaped using this rope. Our attacker escaped through this skylight. Calm down. It's over now. It's gone. You? Oh. But why are you here? You're not doctors, are you? No. Well, you're half right. Shall we remove these masks? Your true name is Albeit, is it not? You were a member at Charles Yellingham's club. Yes, I was. Can you tell us what happened here? After your visit at the hospital, I quickly returned home. I was lying there on a the sofa and... and felt... An evil presence in the room. An evil presence? Never mind. It's probably the fever. Or perhaps a living statue? Yes. It was one of the double statues. I saw its shadow. I believed that it was searching for me, that it wanted to kill me. It was horrible. As in Zacharias' murder, the statue came to life when its intended victim appeared in front of it. I must examine your residence. It may hold some clues. Tell us about your expedition to Guatemala 14 years ago. It was in my former life. What really happened there? You were said to have died. I was ill with a terrible fever. I asked them to leave me there. I can't remember how. I only have flashes of memory. But by some miracle, I survived. I left an eye and one arm behind. It took me time, but at last I managed to return to London. Why do you use a false name? That expedition signaled the end of my career, and my very life as I had known it. I changed my name and my address. Now I'm weak and useless and alone. I'm a walking dead man. Not for long. Perhaps this was it. It was my curse to fade away little by little. Tekun and man's revenge. You are aware of Zacharias's murder, are you not? Yes, and quite aptly, I read that he was killed with a spear. Aptly? Well, he practiced archaeology almost as though it were a sport, seeking adrenaline. Imagine his state of adrenaline when he died, him being the prey. And who would have been the hunter? Tekun and man? Whoever, whatever, will soon be over for me at any rate. A statue was once here. Now it's missing. It appears that the missing statue may have escaped via the window in the roof. The iron mounting rod is broken. 
The surface is damaged. This bed is very small. The interior seems well designed, but I cannot see it properly. This model forms a part of another, larger model. Eighteen ninety four. This model was created after the expedition to Guatemala. There's a little bed in a small room. It's been used. Well, it is for my son, Gulliver. After my official death, my wife and he left for Glasgow. On my return, I installed this room. So they know about you? My boy Gulliver visits occasionally. But I wonder, what is the life of a crippled father? <laughs> they will lose me again. Mr. Albeit, what is this? How? Well, it's impossible. How did you find it? Answer me. Seventeen years ago, I built a model of Tekken Man's temple. We stored it inside the club's globe before leaving for the expedition. I've no idea if it's still there. While in Guatemala, I had dreams about a missing part. A pyramid. Then, when we entered the temple, I experienced vivid visions. Wait a minute. You entered the temple? Well, yes, we did. And we found the pyramid from my visions. But I was too weak. I was unable to solve the mystery of its entrance. I failed there. I always wanted to understand why. So upon my return... You rebuilt this final part according to your visions and... Nothing. But I'm dying, and at least my son will see that I did my best to complete my life's work.
Watson, stay alert, and you'll need to be quiet. What should we do next, Holmes? This door is securely locked. I must find another way. The balcony door's open. Watson, I need your help.
Holmes, I'm here. Can you let me in? A Mayan pyramid. A slot. It appears to be part of some mechanism. We need to hurry and find out what Mr. Marley is hiding. Obviously for a dagger. Mayan period, I think. I'll need a dagger to work the mechanism. There's a recurring theme that connects all of these sculptures. Marley is obviously an avid student of mechanics. Dagger fits. Another statue of Takun Uman. So, Bernard Marley built a mechanical globe. This globe has space inside. It should be possible to open it. It can move, but a part of the mechanism is missing. Be careful, Watson, unless you want to be speared by Takun Uman. Marley dismantled these alarm clocks for their parts. It's closed. It's closed. Hmm, locked. It seems you found the key to the safe.
piece of a map in metal. This object evidently connects to something else. This part is in solid gold. It's worth a fortune. The statue is in three parts. Only the gold is original. Marley must have reconstructed the other two. It's almost daylight. The workers will be here soon. It's time to leave. I heard that Zacharias was killed by the statue spear.
treasure of Takunuma. The calendar. It was here. So Zacharias, Sir Charles, and Marley have all known about this from the beginning. This is the statuette that Bernard Marley, Sir Charles, and Zacharias all shared. No keyhole or handle. There must be a way. Mr. Albeard. Oh, you're here with your son. Yes, obviously. We have to talk with you, and it involves the police. I see. Gulliver, go across the road to Mrs. James. This is an adult conversation. Hold on just one second, please. Uh, a pygmy? As I suspected. Albeard brought him back from Brazil. You were both slaves there and you escaped together, am I correct? You are. We are companions through life to death. He's more like a brother to me. 
It's clear enough now. You and your accomplice are guilty to the murder of Zacharias Greystoke. They had to pay for what they did. If only I'd had the time to get all of them. But Gulliver only did what I told him. It's for the judge to decide that. But given the nature of judges, I doubt that he will be lenient towards a pygmy who kills an Englishman. 